welcome to part three of three of our touch dial training tutorial. Please check out part one and part two of our touch dial tutorial covering the setup for our touch dial receivers. The touch dial four zone RGBW remote and the touch dial five zone single color dimmer remote control. We recommend watching these videos before performing any of the advanced features covered in this session. Remember to read, review, and understand all instructions before attempting to assemble the system. There may be key notes and tips that can help make the process easier. Let's start using your mobile device. Take your mobile device and enter the App Store. Search for Easy Lighting, Easy Life as two words and download the app. As an alternative, you can go to the Diode LED website and head to the Touch Dial product page. There will be a link to the app for your appropriate device. This should only take a few moments based on your data connection. A great feature of the TouchDial Wi-Fi hub allows a user to connect the hub to a Wi-Fi network router via the included Ethernet cable connection. When installing in this manner, the hub will become an access point for the TouchDial system and app, and will allow you to access your existing Wi-Fi network to operate the lighting. This is a useful feature in large applications requiring more than a range of 100 feet of connectivity between the mobile device and the TouchDial Wi-Fi hub. Remember, with this method of installation, you will not be required to switch networks to operate your lighting. However, the broadcast distance of your Wi-Fi network router may be less than or greater than 100 feet. Be sure that your network router meets your project requirements. Once downloaded, do not activate the app. First, go to the setting menu of the mobile device and enter the Wi-Fi menu. Turn on Wi-Fi and locate the network found on the bottom side label of the TouchDial Wi-Fi hub. It should say Easy Lighting, followed by a series of numbers. Follow the prompt and enter the password also located on the bottom side label of the TouchDial Wi-Fi hub. Once logged in appropriately, the Wi-Fi hub will light its third and final light in blue, informing the user the mobile device is now connected. Keep in mind, the Wi-Fi hub can only broadcast a signal approximately 100 feet unobstructed. The next few steps in this tutorial will demonstrate the RGBW and RGB functions on an iOS mobile device. This also applies to an Android product. If you wish to skip to the single color dimmer functions, please fast forward to the time frame as seen on screen. Activate the app and immediately you should see a color wheel surrounded by four buttons and a few other icons and indicators. Let's go through each one during our setup. Power on your touch dial system and reset the receivers if they have been used in a previous system. On your mobile device, located at the bottom of the screen are four icons labeled Room, Setting, Save, and On Off. Press the room icon at the bottom left hand side and it will take you to another screen with 8 pictures of various generic rooms. These 8 pictures represent 8 zones of your touch dial system, as opposed to the 4 and 5 zones limit by the 4 zone RGBW and 5 zone single color dimmer remote controls. Press on one of the pictures and a green check mark will appear on the top right corner of the picture near the name of the room. Don't worry if this label doesn't match the labeling you have in mind. We can change the name later. Once selected, press the room key at the bottom left corner to go back to the color wheel. Like previously, press and release the learning key on the touch dial receiver, followed by a smooth swipe on the color wheel. The lights attached will begin to flash and the mobile device is now connected to the touch dial receiver via Wi-Fi connection. Repeat this process for all zones in your system. Please note, only one mobile device is allowed to be synchronized. A second device will not be able to complete the synchronizing process. In the event you lose your mobile device or no longer wish to operate your light through the TouchDial Wi-Fi hub, you must reset the TouchDial receivers. Now that we have a mobile device connected, let's go through the functions and features of the app. When first launching the Easy Lighting app, at the very top you'll see the label of the room currently selected to be controlled. To change the room, Press the room key at the bottom left hand corner of your screen. This will take you to the room selection screen. Each room is represented by eight individual pictures. Pressing on one or more rooms will allow the user to operate all selected zones in unison. 
Pressing and holding the picture on the screen will turn the zone on or off. After you've selected the rooms you wish to control, confirm the selection by locating the green check mark for each picture. Then press the room key at the bottom left hand corner to return to the color wheel screen. By scrolling your finger around the color wheel in a smooth and consistent manner, the selected zones will begin to change color. For a more formulated process of selecting colors, select the color sliders key at the bottom left corner of the color wheel. This will prompt a screen representing sliders for red, blue, and green. Sliding to the right will increase the intensity of the desired color, and sliding to the left will reduce the intensity. If you are using RGBW based products like Dazzle24 RGBW LED tape light, controlling the white light LED can be done through the W key found on the bottom right of the color wheel. Sliding upwards will increase the brightness of the white light output, while sliding down will dim the white light output. Pressing and holding the W key will turn the white light output on or off. Located at the top right of the color wheel is the brightness control key. Scrolling the slider up for this key increases the brightness of all currently selected colors of light, including the white light output. Sliding down on this key will decrease the brightness of all light outputs. This feature is used when creating custom colors and increasing the level of brightness without affecting the color output. The last and final feature on this screen is the dynamic mode key located at the top left of the color wheel. This function allows access to the 10 pre-programmed effects found on the RGB 4-Zone remote control. By pressing the key, you activate the last selected pattern. Press a second time will pause the program, and pressing a third time will switch to the next program pattern. You'll notice the screen on your app will darken and brighten as you go through the 10 patterns. The slider that appears when the dynamic mode key is selected controls the speed of which the pattern performs. Sliding up will increase the speed, and sliding down will slow down the speed of the pattern. In addition to the dynamic mode, exclusive to the app is the ability to synchronize music and sound effects from your phone to the lights. To use this function, when selecting the dynamic mode key, a music note on the right will appear. Press the music note key and a prompt will appear with two icons, a microphone on the left and a music note on the right. The microphone feature allows the user to speak or play music through the microphone of the mobile device and have the touch dial system react accordingly. Sliding the voice sensitivity slider to the right will increase frequency of which the app picks up noises, and sliding to the left will decrease the frequency. It may take some time to locate the appropriate settings for your ideal effects. The music note key on the right side of the screen allows the user to play music from the mobile device and have the touch dial system react to the beat of the music. The touch dial system is bass or low frequency noise reactive when using this feature. Some music or sound effects with low bass will not demo on the touch dial system effectively. Ideally, the volume on your mobile device should be set fairly high in order to make this feature function properly. This completes the RGB and RGBW operation portion of the Easy Lighting app for the touch dial system. Continue to explore the various settings and get creative when dialing in your dynamic color needs. The next steps in this tutorial will explain the single color dimmer feature of the touch dial system. If you're not using this feature, please skip to the time frame as seen on your screen to learn how to adjust the settings of the app for personal usage. As you recall, the touch dial system is not only an RGB or RGBW control system, but also a single color dimmer system. The Easy Lighting app offers the same features and expands to a full 8 zones. To begin, activate the app and immediately you should see a color wheel surrounded by four buttons and a few other icons and indicators. This display is for the RGB and RGBW controls. To change over to a single color dimmer system, rapidly tap anywhere on the screen three times. This will take you to the mode control screen. Here you'll be shown four color wheels starting with the top left being the color wheel for RGB and RGBW operations. 
The one below at the bottom left corner is a K-Range wheel, designed for two-channel Kelvin adjusting products, allowing for the ability to cycle through three different color temperatures from a single LED product or two individual LED products, each with a different color temperature. The wheel at the top right corner is another K-Range wheel. This one is designed for three-channel K-Range products or configurations. Both operate similarly to the RGB and RGBW color wheel. Head back to time frame as seen on the screen for the tutorial to learn about the RGB and RGBW color wheel functions. The last and final wheel found on the bottom right corner is the single color dimmer wheel. Selecting this mode will change the touch dial system to a single color dimmer, allowing the control of a single color LED product like FluidView 24V LED tape light, the best CRI producing LED tape light with the longest max runs in this industry. Please check out the Diode LED website for our extensive product selection and color temperature offerings. After selecting the single color wheel, you will be brought back to the main screen. Now we can begin controlling single color lighting. First, power on the touch dial system and reset the receivers if they have been used previously for another system. On your mobile device located at the bottom of the screen are four icons labeled Room, Settings, Save, and On-Off. Press the Room icon at the bottom left hand side and it will take you to another screen with eight pictures of various generic rooms. These eight pictures represent eight zones of your touch dial system, as opposed to the four and five zones limited by the four zone RGBW and five zone single color dimmer remote controls. Press on one of the pictures and a green check mark will appear on the top right of the picture near the name of the room. Don't worry if this label doesn't match the labeling you have in mind. We can change the name later. Once selected, press the room key at the bottom left corner to go back to the single color dimmer wheel. Like previously with the handheld remote control, press and release the learning key on the touch dial receiver, followed by a smooth swipe on the single color dimmer wheel. The lights attached will begin to flash and the mobile device is now connected to the touch dial receiver via Wi-Fi connection. Repeat this process for all zones in your system. Note, only one mobile device is allowed to be synchronized. A second device will not be able to complete the synchronizing process. In the event you lose your mobile device or no longer wish to operate your light through the touch dial Wi-Fi hub, you must reset the touch dial receivers. Now that we have a mobile device connected, let's go through the functions and features of the app. When first launching the Easy Lighting app, at the very top, you'll see the label of the room currently selected to be controlled. To change the room, press the room key at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. This will take you to the room selection screen. Each room is represented by eight individual pictures. Pressing on one or more rooms will allow the user to operate all selected zones in unison. Pressing and holding the picture on the screen will turn the zone on or off. After you've selected the rooms you wish to control, confirm the selection by locating the green check mark for each picture, then press the room key at the bottom left hand corner to return to the single color dimmer wheel. To operate the single color dimmer wheel, swipe smoothly to the right to increase the brightness of the single color LED product. To dim, swipe to the left and the brightness of your LED light will decrease. This concludes the single color dimmer wheel function. Take your time finding the appropriate settings to create the ideal atmosphere. The next following sets of instructions will explain the functions of the app for personal settings. These settings are saved on the app of the mobile device and not the touch dial Wi-Fi hub or receivers. At the bottom of the touch dial app, select the settings menu. Please ignore the top left and bottom left options as they are not used for the touch dial system. The top right option labeled Use Direct Easy Lighting Connection with the Wi-Fi LED controller is used when connecting your mobile device with the touch dial Wi-Fi hub through your existing network. Please rewind back to the time shown on screen to review this process. The middle left option labeled Restore Wi-Fi Settings to the factory default settings is used to erase and remove all changes made to the touch dial Wi-Fi hub, specifically password changes. The option in the middle right allows the ability to change room information, such as names, 
picture icons, and a few other options. The last and final option is the Wi-Fi settings found on the bottom right. This is where you can change the name of the Wi-Fi signal and introduce a new password. This option is used only when the TouchDial Wi-Fi hub is operating as a standalone device and not connected to an existing Wi-Fi network. Select the Edit Room option. You will then be presented with eight pictures of the individual zones and at the very top, the option to edit, save, learn, and go back to the previous screen. Please note, the learning function is not used with the touch dial system. To edit a room, select edit at the top left hand corner. The eight pictures representing zones will now be in white in addition to displaying four mode wheels on each picture. It is recommended that you do not remove any of the four mode wheels for any of the zones. To change the name of a room, click on the room's name and your mobile device keyboard will pop up allowing you to enter a new name. Please note you are limited to 20 characters including numbers and symbols. Once changed, select done on your mobile device keyboard taking you back to the edit screen. If so desired, select another room to change the name. If your setup does not require all 8 zones, there is no need to make changes to unused zones. To change the picture of the room, press the picture of the room you wish to change and your mobile device's camera will activate. Capture a picture of the new zone and select Use Photo. The image of the room will be replaced with the new captured image. Repeat this process for all necessary zones. Once completed, press the Save key found at the top of the screen, followed by Back at the top right corner. This will save all changes done to the zones to the app on the mobile device you were using. Remember, these settings are saved on the mobile device, not the TouchDial Wi-Fi hub or receivers. This concludes the Edit Room feature. The next set of features, we will go over the Save function. The Save function allows a user to save up to eight different color settings. This can range from RGB, RGBW, or single color settings. To access these saved settings, head to the color wheel screen. At the very bottom, you'll see a save icon right next to the settings icon. Pressing the save icon will then show eight keys labeled S1 through S8. Again, the TouchDial app allows the user to save up to eight settings. To use this feature, press the save icon Immediately, S1 through S8 keys will be presented to you. These keys represent saved settings that you can go ahead and create. First, select the room that you wish to operate, followed by controls from the color wheel or single color wheel. When you found your ideal settings, press and hold a corresponding key to save the function to that specific key. If you made a mistake, simply repeat the process until completed. This concludes the settings menu as well as the save function menu. This also completes the complete tutorial of our touch dial LED control system as well as the easy lighting app. Please feel free to rewind and review any part of this tutorial. Remember, the touch dial LED system is modular in every way, from small to large systems to complex zone and even mobile app operation. The touch dial system answers the call for complete lighting solutions. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact our customer service or technical support teams at 877-817-6028 or email info at diodeled.com. Thank you for joining us on this three-part web series on the touch dial LED control systems.